Daniel Fernandez, Ross Hadi. Hello, hello, hello. Salam bahagia, selamat datang. Uh, it's our car show again. We've been away for what? One year of the air? Yeah, Ross. Yeah, no, one you, probably, you probably heard us on the radio for seven years. Yes. <laughs> and then you thought, okay, I don't have to see these ding-dongs. Yeah, all here. Yes. But now... We are back. We are back. <laughs> and you... <laughs> So, sad to say like we're not that good looking we're yeah, old men yeah. I hope, but, I hope that, uh, you are not disappointed <laughs> ah, you know you would have thought from our voices uh, on radio we were too young hunky uh, guys but we're not but anyway between <laughs> us we have many years of experience yes okay I'm not going to say on what yeah. but for this show it's all about the cars yes today we are in a this is a Toyota Hilux Hilux yes. this is the location of our shoot today mm -hmm. this is what we're going to be doing uh, hopefully once a week yes we'll be doing a show like this we'll talk about cars in cars. general and the automotive industry in the Malaysia automotive industries uh, the cars we've tested the cars we've driven the future of motor industry if we can tell you yes. somehow or another yes, yes. <laughs> if we can share some secrets with you all right we'll be doing this and uh, hopefully you will join us in our journey mm. in our ride yes so today we are in a Toyota okay this Hilux yes has been around for some time but Toyota is just, um, I would say, uh, spruced it up. You know, giving it a bit of a facelift. Yes. And I think it's working well because it actually looks a little bit, you know, more uh, urbanized. Because the when the when this model of the Hilux first came out, it really looked like a four by four tough vehicle. Yep. Because that's what Toyota Hilux is all yep. about. Yep. You know, for years, Ross. Yeah. When you watch TV. Exactly. You watch Al. <laughs> Jazeera or CNN, news. Or BB, uh, yeah. any news, yeah. any war-torn country, <laughs> any bombed-up place. If you see a rescue mission coming, yeah. it's a Toyota Hilux. Definitely. Okay. And yeah, maybe this is a bit sensitive, lah. The people who bombed the place, uh, they are also using a Toyota Hilux. Uh, it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So you know that these vehicles are built for the the maximum that the yeah. that Earth, Mother Earth, can put at them, lah. You know. Yeah, la. So. We know it's tough, we know it's built to last, we know it's reliable, but the problem is a lot of people today buy pickup trucks like the Toyota Hilux mm. and they never go off-road. That's the problem. They are doing exactly <laughs> what we're doing, sitting, driving to a destination on a highway, highway. Or, or, you know, daily commute. Yeah, nice and comfortable, Yeah. you know, no no rough roads, yes. you know, no need to go on your four-wheel drive. This vehicle has four wheel yeah we have and two wheel yes and we're not yeah. going to use the four wheel at all no yeah. especially as you know we are two old guys we're not going to go off road <laughs> no. so how how comfortable are you ross very very comfortable i'm surprised yes this uh, toyota hilux and you're not bouncing around it's not bouncing uh -huh. yeah it's not moving yes yeah, it's not swaying yes because you know why they have urbanized it okay but of course if tomorrow yeah. we decided to do some dusun farming we can. We can with this Hilux. Yes. We can go and collect our durians and rambutans yeah. because there's space at the back yeah. and it'll take whatever we can throw at it yeah. within reason, like, you know? I think that's why the people of Malaysia, uh, the way they think is like that. Yes. You see, when they buy something like this, they don't want to buy two-wheel drive. They want yes. to buy four-wheel drive because they know I have it. Although they know they're not going to use it, Yes. but they, are, they feel comfortable because they know they have it. Yes. If they can if they want to. If they want to. Yes. Or, you know, for example, uh, a lot of us have kampongs. And you know, somehow or other, at some point we'll go back to our kampongs. You know, whether we still have relatives living there. <laughs> you see? Like yeah. my kampong, I don't have relatives living there anymore. Where's so your kampong? My kampong is a very, very small town. A lot of people never heard of it. It's called Bangsa. Oh, your Bangsa. Ah, your Bangsa. It's a, it's a very small town. Oh, yeah. You live far village. away. Far, very far very away far, now. Very far, very far, very far. But I do go back once in a while to, you know, to just to see you know, if there's any development. But sadly, in the last few years, they've not done much to Bangsa. Yeah. But you know, I hope one day the government will, will allocate some funds to you know yeah. redevelop the, the, that whole little village. And um, okay, so this week, yeah, uh, we've had a very boring week because Klims ended, and you know during Klims there were a lot of car launches, a lot of activity, and everything. But once Klims ended, yeah. it's all quiet. Yeah, and also because it's December, end of the year. Yes, everybody's on holiday. Yeah, so. We don't have really much to talk about in terms of the local motor industry. Yep. But I do have two very hot news. Okay. Chorita Panas. Panas. Which I've dug up in the last couple of days. Okay. Nombo Satu. Yeah. You know the Hyundai Nexo? Nexo? Mm. Nexo. Hyundai Nexo is a fuel cell vehicle. 
Okay. They showed yeah. it at Klim's. Yes, yes, yes. Brought it as a demo. Nexo. Okay. Yeah, okay. Any Nexo. So I was talking to the people at uh, Hyundai, and I was asking them, you know, this Nexo, you brought it in. Yeah, you know, we flew it in, and then we have to fly it out because it's a demo vehicle model. Mm. And I said, you know, is there any chance that you'll ever sell it in Malaysia? Before we go on, mm. fuel cell to upper, yeah. Fuel cell to <laughs> alternative fuel, lah. Very yeah. complicated. I book an engineer, lah. <laughs> Dia bukan pakai minyak. No. Dia bukan pakai bateri. Bukan. Ah, dia pakai fuel cell. Yes. Okay. Fuel okay. cell ni uh, selain daripada minyak dan bateri lah. Yes. Okay. So, it's technology. Cara tertinggi. ketiga lah. Ah, cara ketiga lah. Okay. Ada cara empat lima semua ah, lah. Okay, okay. Yang paling penting eh, yeah. <laughs> Siapa nak beli benda ni? Sebab, that, you know, fuel cell how do you run it in Malaysia? Tak tahu. Ah, Itulah. So, saya tak tahu apa ah, fuel cell. Ah. So they bring it, they bring it for 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 Testing. demo lah, demo ada, lah. Ada, so, ada. At, at motor show, motor show, what oh, motor show? Dekat so, motor show claims. Ah, ah okay. So I said okay. So what are you going to do with it? Then he gave me a smile and he said, <laughs> I've sold two. Huh? I said, you sold two? He said, yes. We sold one to Sarawak Energy. You know who Sarawak Energy? That's the equivalent of TNB in Malaysia. Okay, but in Sarawak lah. Yes, there's no TNB in Sarawak. No. The whole of Sarawak is run by Sarawak Energy. Oh, okay. And the Sarawak Energy chairman has bought one. Okay. And they are going to fuel it up there. How do they do it? Because they've got the, the technology lah. Yeah, of course. And they, yeah. want to, and they want to try it out. And the chief, the new chief minister of Sarawak mm. has bought another one. So the two are sold to Sarawak. Both cars are in Sarawak. Yeah, they're, they're on their way to Sarawak. Okay. But they've been bought. Yeah. The price yes. of each, because this is such high technology, yeah. and it's it's Hyundai, but it's completely developed in UK yes. and shipped here. So you have to pay in Euros for oh, now. Okay. Because Brexit is coming and all that. 700,000 ringgit. Per unit. Per unit. Wow. Because you got to pay full tax. Because you know, there's no tax incentive. People, they, you know, Malaysia doesn't even know how to calculate the tax incentive yeah, because yeah. it's a brand new fuel yeah. system. You can't put price on the future. Yes, <laughs> and because there's no engine, yeah. they're still trying to figure out the road tax. <laughs> zero, huh? S supposed to be zero, ah, lah. Okay, okay. But you know, yeah. maybe they have to put a nominal fee of ten ringgit, lah. Maybe to print a little thing, you know, that that thing that doesn't stick on your windscreen, long. <laughs> ah, the road tax. Okay. 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 So that's cerita hangat nombor satu. Satu nombor dua. Okay. Cerita hangat nombor dua yeah. is also from the good people of Hyundai lah. Which one? Ah. Okay, but so, cerita Hyundai. Okay. okay. So Hyundai showed us yeah. one super hot hatchback called the N. Oh yes, nice one. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, garang. Yeah. It, inside the so it's you know it's it's basically uh, making the Golf GTI, the Mercedes A Class all a little bit foreign. <laughs> but of course they got branding and. And history behind them. Yeah. But Hyundai wants to say, hey, hey we still can play with your, yeah. your 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 segment, you know. Yeah, yeah. So they have come up with the end. Now the end is built in the Czech Republic oh. because Hyundai has a facility there, okay, a, a factory there, mm -hmm. and the design center and everything. So they've built this car for Europe. Okay. So the right-hand drive version was shown at Klims, mm -hmm. which is going to be sold in UK because you know Europe and all that. Yep. But this guy is a hot hatch and it only comes as a manual, you know. Good. Ah, which is what a proper hot hatch should be. Hot hatch supposed to be manual. Not is automatic. <laughs> no. If you say automatic, then it's not a hot hatch. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like. Yeah. But anyway, I asked, who's going to buy or are you going to sell? He says, you know, we're thinking of selling, but the price is very high. But anyway, yes. at the show, I had two orders. Wow. It's coming from the Hyundai boss in Malaysia. <laughs> he said, two orders. Okay. So, you bring in, yes, I've already placed the order. These people are very keen. Harga for this Hyundai N Sports hatchback 250 to 270. My goodness. Mahal, eh? <laughs> Mahal. Because again, <laughs> it's a new car. Wow. It's it's you know, they don't even know how to guess at the price yeah. and everything else. But because two people really want it and they're willing to pay. This is the normal engine, like not uh Hybrid, not electric, no, not it's diesel. a hot hatch. It's a hot hatch. Hot hatch. Okay. So this car is going to come in. And there's going to be two in Malaysia. Wow. And hopefully, when people see it, yeah. And you know, I'm hoping that these drivers don't take it to the supermarket only. <laughs> they really drive it. Do you know who the drivers are? Ah, uh, no. Who bought that? They didn't tell me lah. It's not us lah. Yeah, yeah, definitely not us. So, so itu cerita hangat nombor dua. Nombor dua. Ada now got cerita hangat nombor tiga. Wow, ini sudah bagus. Ini cerita hangat yeah. nombor tiga. Yeah. We have just been informed yes. by YouTube that this video has gone super viral <laughs> because of our cerita hangat yeah, yeah, yeah. and because of our fame. Okay. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>
uh, we'll see you next week hopefully yes uh, every week ah uh, kita akan buat ni seminggu sekali uh, kalau diizinkan <laughs> if, uh, if we if we wake up yeah if we wake up so please subscribe please uh, comment if you have any comments if you think we are good with you if you think we are no good uh, please uh, suggest to us what you want us to talk about yes uh, what else ah huh? Uh, and uh, and we welcome any any requests. Request. Where possible, we'll yeah. try and entertain your requests. Lovely. So we'll see you next week. Terima kasih. Bye Thank bye. Thank you. Bye bye.